these with the help of Kel and Mel. So we have a bit of a puzzle to put together here. All In sitting nicely. Yes. All sitting nicely there. Where did the coffee go? <laughs> <laughs> Where did the coffee go? Here. So, here we have some beautiful pieces of plywood. Some, yes. That were cut with a CNC machine. Yes, CNC cut pieces for our lifting mechanism. Yes. And uh, later rotating mechanism. But so we got these with the help of Kel and Mel from yeah. uh, Mara. They are also building a boat, a beautiful boat. And they have yeah. a CNC machine. So um, they were super kind to mm. help us with the, with the cutting of the plywood material. Yes. And they're building a big 50 foot dish, uh, 55. It's a big uh, plywood catamaran, very nice boat. And yes. also putting uh, information up on, on, uh, on, uh, on YouTube. Yes, uh, so we'll put the link to their channel in, in the, the description. description. So you can check out uh, their videos and their beautiful yeah. boat as well. Yeah. And in the meantime, we're going to bring the rest of the plywood pieces from the car to here. And then so clean them we up. can align them because this is six millimeter plywood and we need to glue them back to back so they become 12, 12 millimeter, millimeter plywood. but in general i find the marine plywood uh, to be a fairly poor quality uh, other than the glue and these six mil or and four mil plies are in general better quality than the thicker ones uh, the thicker ones are mostly garbage in but my, actually, my experience nice. this is this is looking quite nice mm -hmm. i'm not sure How i was i was told what it was called but i forget it's a it's a fancy marine play, play. Mm -hmm. anyway uh, <laughs> i'm sure people are going to say oh, it should be uh, made out of aluminum because you're lifting it or steel or whatever and sure you can do that but this is easily going to last 10, 10 20 years if you if you keep after it and I'm probably gonna change the design before that so yeah so exactly. uh, the plywood is a good option uh, to start with yeah to start with okay let's bring the remaining pieces the other pieces yeah. yes okay I'll go and do that we can set this on time-lapse yeah
As I was separating the CNC cut parts and trimming the edges of each component, you could probably notice Axel working in the background on putting together the prop, the motor and the cylinder assembly. So now let's move over there and have a look at what he's been doing. I'd also have to remind you that some time ago we took the help of a machinery engineer, Terry, who was able, with the right equipment at his workshop, to make some adjustments on a few parts for us. And in case you missed our latest episode on the lifting mechanism of this unique sailboat drive system, now it would be a good time for you to watch it and check where we left the story. Yes. A little update on the motor situation. So we have machined motor mount, made it flat in the bottom, flat on the top, a motor adapter that fits that bracket and the motor. And after some fiddling, we now have propeller, tube, drive leg, adapter, adapter, and motor. All in sitting a tube. nicely. Yes. All sitting nicely there where their final position minus, should be. Minus a few bolts. Is that it? That's it. The, there's a f minus a few bolts and some sealant. Yeah. Sealant goes where? In between Anywhere what? where it could leak. So in yeah. between all these parts? Yeah. Or where? So between this and that. Yeah. And between the drive leg and the... Uh, mount? Motor tube. mount? Or, and ah, between yes. this motor mount and the bottom of the, uh, of the cylinder. cylinder. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Mostly to, to stop and between any these, leakage. This no, no, this this, and this is nicely machined. So this just sits like so. Mm -hmm. That's a locating plate so that uh, there's no forces going this way. Yeah. Uh, and all the torsion will be taken up by these four bolts. Mm -hmm. So that'll work. Yep. So. So it fits one tube. <laughs> I'm assuming the second tube fits. Ah, oh, yeah, I have to drill two more holes in the in the bottom of the uh, motor uh, mount bracket thingy. Why is that? Because I want to be able to take the leg out uh, without taking off the the shroud. Mm. So for me to be able to do that, I have to attach the shroud or the prop tube to the, this better. Mm -hmm. And uh, I happened to put those two bolt holes under, under this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have to drill two holes uh, through that. In okay. each one, that's all. But this seems to be working so far. Yeah. All it needs to spin is power. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, the, the parts seem yeah. to be coming together where they should. Very nicely. Be. Cool. Sure.
short up there. So we have a bit of a puzzle to put together here. Many, many pieces of uh, many CNC cut pieces of ply that need to go together. So, and I didn't find any like uh, six millimeter dowels when I was looking. So I just bought a yeah, I don't know one of these. Cutting them up now, sanding off the edges so that it'll all come together. Then we'll glue these bits together with epoxy, so uh, two sheets together forming a 12 millimeter uh, part. And uh, for the actual lifting bracket bit, double that up. So serious amount of wood lifting a fairly heavy contraption now. I'd say it weighs 40, maybe even 50 kilos in total. 40 kilos. Mm -hmm. That's the guess. We'll uh, try and weigh it if we can. Yes, I think that would be very interesting. It would be interesting, yeah. Okay, All so right. did you find so a method to sand these little bits and pieces? Or yes. Not? Like that? Like that. And hold the paper and burn it? Yeah. And done it. Rata. And done it. <laughs> and do that with all of those, and then we can start thinking about gluing. Mm -hmm. Are doing? I am doing epoxy painting. <laughs> yes. It's been the theme of the day. Yeah. And it's probably gonna be the same tomorrow. See? <laughs> you scare me. I scare you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching! This is our slow progress, folks! Your patience for making it all the way to the end of the video means a lot to us! Thank you! A comment, a like and a share are greatly appreciated! Thank you and see you next Sunday here at Building Villa.